Hey guys, this is Cal again. Want to go over my uh, final thoughts with you on the DIY PC D480 W case, W for white. Um, just wanted to kind of summarize my uh, build notes. Um, first thing, if you use a full size motherboard or an ATX size motherboard, make sure that you pretty much have your final uh, CPU cooler in place otherwise you will not be able to access these top holes. I run into that issue. Uh, of course an experienced builder would have caught that. And uh, in the previous videos I mentioned the power cables, were, uh, fan cables and all that was coming through this hole. That was an issue so there was a heads up. Uh, I highly recommend using your original motherboard screws. The ones that come with this case are pretty much junk. Uh, they stripped out on me. So uh, you might have some silver ones and uh, you could go ahead and you know touch them up with some paint or a uh, uh, little black sharpie or something to hide that silver color if you're worried about it. Eh. Cable management. There's what I ended up with. It's not the prettiest. Um, I don't have 3.0 on my motherboard, so this is the 3.0 cable right here. Um, I just kind of hit it back here just so you know I don't see it. Um, this is a non-modular power supply, so you know I had to kind of fight this big massive cable here. And I may or may not have been able to do something different. But this is all the fan plugs. I could have maybe did that a little different. Uh, but like I said, this is my first build. So this doesn't get seen, so I wasn't all that worried about it. Uh, let's see. Oh, one thing I do like about this case, uh, with my power supply, you know, it's not a real big one. It's 550 watt. So I do have a lot of space in here, right there and right there, to hide a bunch of extra cables. I do have, you know, extra cables stashed away, you know, for uh, if I want to add something in there later, it's easy to get to. And this all, believe it or not, tucks away. Uh, one question that keeps coming up, how many SSDs can you put in this thing? Well, the answer is three. And if you actually read the manual, which is a pretty nice manual as far as manuals go, you can read it. It's really nice material. You know, just basic stuff, you know. But you can see it does mention right here that uh, you do have this area for your SSD and then your... your uh, Three and a half inch hard drives go down here, which I have two of them in there. And you can also put your SSD drives right here. You, there's room for two of them there. And that's where I have mine. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, in my previous video, I had mentioned about taking the... Uh, filter off the top and put it on the front. You know what? I got to looking at this thing and this is a mesh panel which is basically the same size holes as this filter for the top. So now if you don't want to take this front off and clean that all the time you could go ahead and get you one of these uh, aftermarket and put on there and you know you can just measure that make it an inch longer make it go down to there and uh, but so now I wanted to show you also let's see if I can do this the way this front panel comes off is you grab it by the bottom and just give it a little pull and there you go it's off now the only problem I see with this if you keep doing that repeatedly this is just a plastic kind of nub on there um, you will eventually 
wear those out I think and that may or may not become loose but snaps on nice and tight and uh, so you could you know remove that cover and clean that that grill uh, probably for the money for one of these extra little filters I would just go ahead and and get one to save wear and tear on that front panel let's see what else I guess that's about it really um, I really like this power supply tunnel um, I kind of got all freaked out because I've read a couple guys said that they had problems with cable management I did not have any problems now of course like I said you know mine's not real pretty but you know I was going to uh, drill the rivets out and remove this thing and then pop rivet it back in that's not necessary uh, okay now one concern I do have and I don't know if it's within my settings but I don't know if these fans are blowing hard enough now I've read everything from they're silent uh, they're great blow a lot of air or they don't blow enough air whatever uh, but I wanted to demonstrate to you guys um, what I'm getting what I have here is a piece of toilet paper and I just use that magnetic that magnetic filter on the top to hold the toilet paper in place now uh, one thing I am hearing when I start these top fans I am getting one for a half a second that makes a little noise none of the others do that now as far as the fans running they're quiet I mean obviously I hear air moving through there but I don't hear any humming of the fans or you know I don't really know what you call a noisy fan so but now I just wanted to demonstrate okay this is uh oh must un oh I gotta turn the thing on 